Hi, Mr. Arncourt here, and in this video, I'm going to look at uh, how to bold and italicize words in HTML and also how to place a strong importance on a word and an emphasis on a word in HTML. So let's say I start off with a paragraph, and I'm a math teacher, so I might say I was using the, and I want to bold this, so I'm going to use this tag, which is a, uh, you know, this bold tag is basically a less than, a B, and a greater than. And then you place what you want to bold. So let's say quadratic formula uh, in there. Okay. And I'm going to save that. And then I close the tag with the less than, the slash, B, and the greater than symbol. And I can open up my web page. Let's refresh. And you'll see I was using, and then they have quadratic formula is in bold. Okay. Let's say instead I wanted, not bold, I wanted... Uh, to place it, uh, italicize it. So instead of B, I would use I for the opening and closing tag. So let's save that and see what it looks like. And we're going to refresh, and you'll see it goes into uh, an italicized form. Now both the the B and the I tag are for bold and italicized are not used as much anymore. A lot of times to bold something, you use strong, which will place a strong emphasis on the word, and it'll let the browser know that that's an important part of the word. Um, so the it'll let the, the robots going through Google that, oh, that's important. You want to have maybe you want to put a strong emphasis on quadratic formula if you have an article on quadratic formula. Uh, so I would use strong, and I'm going to save it, and then I'll say it, it bolts it, okay? Um, now I can also place an emphasis on the quadratic formula. Okay, and that might change the meaning of the sentence or, or something like that. I'm trying to think of an example, but um, if I want to change the emphasis of a word within a sentence, um, I'm going to use this em tag. I save it, and you notice it's italicized. Now, when you see it through the browser, it looks the same as the i, but um, when the bots go through, when they look at the eye, they're just going to—they're kind of, not going to assume that it's emphasized. And if they look at the B, they're not going to assume that it has a strong importance. Um, but if you use strong and emphasis, then it, it may help for SEO. Um, strong and emphasis and the EM tag are, are used more than B and I now. But if you really don't care um, about... Um, which one you use, you could, you could do um, italicize and get the same result. So if you look, it looks the exact same, even though I'm using a different tag. And I'll use the same example with um, uh, the strong and bold tag. Um, and, you know, I can get the same look, but it's interpreted by the browser a little bit differently. Okay. So you'll see it looks the same, but interpreted um, by the, you know, the uh, Google bots reading the code a little bit differently. Anyway, so that's, that's uh, two ways to italicize, italicize something and two ways to bold something. I hope that helps. If you have questions, uh, leave comments in the comments below. Um, Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, leave a like and subscribe and have a great day.